Okay, today we move on to the topic of Hall logic. So when before, when we're proving properties on functional programs, we would do everything using induction. So a function is defined recursively, we have some property P we want to prove for all numbers, or lists, or trees, or whatever, and we'd always do that via induction. Now we're dealing with imperative programs. So an imperative program is something that's like written in C or Java. We've got like a sequence of lines, and each line is executed in the order. So you have like, you know, x is equal to 1, then y is equal to 2, then while some property is true, do some stuff. It's kind of this, in the style of C or, C or Java compared to Haskell. And we'd like to prove properties about these sort of programs too. And we do that using a, um, a proof method called Hall logic. So Hall logic, um, the language of Hall logic is Hall triples. So a triple is a set of three things, um, a precondition P, a bit of code S and a post condition Q. P and Q here are both predicates. So that means they're a Boolean statement that's either true or false. And S is just a snippet of code. So it, um, we want uh, the, what the whole triple states is that if a whole triple is valid, uh, it gives us the guarantee that if P is true before the code is executed, and when you execute the code it halts, then we're guaranteed that Q is true afterwards. Okay, so for example, if x is greater than or equal to zero, and I run this snippet of code, while x is not zero, decrement x by one, uh, I guarantee at the end x will be equal to zero. I can in fact even generalize this to an even stronger precondition, uh, weaker I should say, true, while x is not equal to zero, decrement x by one, x equals zero. Reason being, is that if x is negative, this loop will run forever, which means the whole logic triple is still valid. The reason being is we require s to terminate um, before we need to talk about q. So if f doesn't terminate, then this whole part here is false, and false implies anything. So by default, if the code doesn't halt, the whole triple is vacuously true, because you'll never get to talk about q, because the, the, you know, the code never ends, right? So whole logic is really a useful technique for formally proving the correctness of a program rather than, say, running a bunch of test cases. Because if you run a bunch of test cases, that doesn't tell you the program is correct. That just tells you it works for these cases, right? There always might be a sneaky bug hiding in there that you missed. 